Welcome to the Skills Developer Tutorial Series, a step-by-step -step video series designed to get you up and running so you can get back to what you do best, creating amazing games. In this video, you'll set up the core loop of your skills game. You'll learn to submit a score in your game, return to the skills UI, and handle fallback score submission. You'll also learn how to run your project in Unity, where you'll be able to test your game and see what it looks like on a mobile device. Let's do it. In a previous video, we learned to launch a game scene from the skills UI. But currently, when a match is complete, the game prompts the player to play again rather than submit a score. Instead, we want the player to submit their score and then return to the skills UI to select another match. To do this, start by renaming the play again button to submit score. Right now, when the submit score button is clicked, it calls a play again method in the game manager script to restart the match. Let's create a new method in the game manager script to handle score submission. Then call this script instead of restarting the match. You'll also create two more methods, one to handle success and one to handle failure callbacks. The submit score call takes three arguments, the score, the success, and the failure method. If the score submission is successful, the success method is called. If the score submission fails, the failure method is called. Easy, right? If the submission is successful, call return to skills, which will take the player back to the skills UI. If the submission fails for some reason, you will need to do a fallback score submission by calling the display tournament results with score method. This will return the player to the skills UI and ensure their score won't be lost. Now let's try this out in Sidekick. Launch the game using the skills settings menu, enter a match and complete it. When you select Submit Score, the results of the match will be displayed, and you should be returned to the Skills UI where another match can be played. When built to a mobile device, the same flow will look like this. The match results are displayed, and then the player is returned to the Skills UI. If you would like to build to a mobile device now, check out our video on building to iOS or Android, or follow the instructions in the documentation. Now that you know how to submit a player's score and return them to the Skills UI, it's important to ensure that your game is fair for both players. After all, fairness is the cornerstone of all skills-powered games. Luckily, we made a video about it. See you there.